The northern Gulf of Mexico is one of the most unique places to fish on Earth. Its proximity to the continental shelf and the abundance of gigantic floating oil platforms offshore make it a hot zone for yellowfin tuna and blue marlin alike. Come with us on an adventure on the 92-foot Viking, the Nikki Bella, as we embark on a journey to catch yellowfin tuna and to live bait blue marlin. But first, we gotta catch some dinner. Big dog, big dog. Nice fish. Phew, good start. Nice. House has been the war. Got somebody else's hook in there. Look at that, free jewelry. Souvenir, does he get hooked? Jesus. I was gonna pop that one. Nice, all right. No, they're okay. They're okay for right now. Here, I'm actually gonna get you guys to swap. You're gonna come underneath, and Frank is gonna go on top. Nope, nope, nope. Other way, other way. Yeah, yeah. Yep, perfect. Nice. Getting close. Oh, another shark. Oh, yeah. Damn things. Or show up when you get right off the side, back home. When you get right off the side of spots. And nice snapper. Wow. Nice. 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 Sir. Yeah. All right, 50. I'm gonna talk about him. Little chicken. Better than a shark. Indeed. <laughs> okay. Started off catching a couple of snapper. Let me wax y'all off. Okay, we started off catching a couple of snapper. Get some baits rigged, heading off to the floaters. Beautiful sunset. We are gonna place some of that snapper and have it for dinner. And then after dinner, we're gonna start chunking and try to catch some tuna at night. But we'll see what this afternoon has in store for us. The evening trolling some ballyhoo we're gonna do two ballyhoo and longs on off of each rigger on the end the short clip in the rigger is going to be uh lures on both sides and then we're gonna do a ballyhoo and the long up there so but hang on before we get into this video anymore i would like to thank probably the number one best thing 
that has ever sponsored me, which is Factor. Factor has been life-changing for me. It is a meal delivery service with fresh, ready-to-eat meals that are ready in two minutes. And the most important part, they are really, 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 really good. They are really good. Factor has a ton of different diets that you can choose from, like keto, vegan, calorie smart. They change the menus every single week. You can pick and select different options. Right here for the keto option, I have the garlic mushroom chicken thighs. Cajun Ingenuity on the microwave handle. Two minutes and it's done, that easy. And in addition to ready to cook meals, Factor has so many other options. They have cold pressed juices, smoothies, nutrition bites, nutrition shots. Factor has been a gigantic game changer for this time of the year, especially. I don't have to worry about my groceries. I don't wanna waste any time when I get home from a long day of fishing, especially if I'm fishing many days in a row. And the best part about Factor it's just really, really good food. So head over to Factor75.com or click the link below in the description and use code JOEVT50 to get 50% off of your first Factor box. And if you sign up right now, you get the free wellness shot for life. Two wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you are an active subscriber. And the really good wellness shots, they're not disgusting like other ones. They're actually really good. So again, thank you so much for Factor for sponsoring this video and sending me delicious food and uh, making me not so fat and gross. So use code JOVT50 for 50% off of your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life with any active subscription. And thank you so much for Factor for sponsoring this video and back to the video. Little yellow, it's a yellow pin. He's a keeper. All right. Hey. Ooh, beauty. All right. We caught a tuna, guys. Let's go home. We did it. Looks like he came off. Oh no, he's still on. Monster. To be honest, the evening started pretty slow, but there were a ton of tuna busting out all over the outskirts of the light of the rig, chasing these flying fish. If we wanted something to happen, it became apparent that we needed to try to catch these things. And though it may be difficult, trying to net these things is an absolute blast. It is seriously more fun than catching the actual tuna. Son of a gun, the little one. We eventually were able to scoop a couple up and we put them out to troll. Yes, sir, we did. Oh, yeah, you did. Good. Got it, he's got it. Yep. Oh, we, we got him. Oh, nice, all right. Here, you wanna get your phone out of the pocket? I got you. Okay. There you go. All right. Oh, we got one right back here, Mark. Right back here, right here, right here. Oh, right there. No, 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 other Mark. <laughs> Blew right into the stern. I don't know where he went. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we got him? Ah, too, too little, too deep. All right, I'm gonna get you to step this way. Yeah, right, yes, sir. Grab the knot. Yep. All right, reel down, and we got like 20 feet left. Short pumps. Step to the corner. Step to the corner. You can. <laughs> yeah, that's another better fish. 
Keep on reeling. Nice. Oh yeah. Nice fish. Woo! Yeah. Woo! How about that? Yeah. Nicely done, sir. Yes, sir. You got a Margaritaville hat on too. Yeah, baby. Gotta love it. All right, let's get some pictures with him, huh? Nice. Actually, it looks like a pretty decent fish. It's a good one. <laughs> oh, yeah, keep on crank. That's a 50 pounder. Might have, might get some. Uh... Oh, don't do that. I hate those head shakes. Keep on crank. Oh, yeah. Oh, pork chop. Nice. All right. <laughs> yeah, he grew. He grew big. That <laughs> way. Oh, uh, where's where's the off button? <laughs> Joey one timer back at it again yeah yeah marks on it marks on it we're we're tight he's an angrier one Yeah, there's a bag and a tail. I do, I do. Just, just, yeah, just with that. We'll deal with that after we get this fish out. It's coming close. Leader right there. Okay. All right, make sure you have to step up a little bit. Make sure this line doesn't touch the boat. He's good, he's good. Get right there, yeah. Stay right at the rail for me. Oh, yeah, doubled. We're doubled. Ooh, ooh. Keep on reeling. Don't stop. Gotta keep that rod 90 degrees out. Unreal, real, 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 real. Turn the handle. Nice. Alright, walk backwards, walk backwards. A couple more cranks. A couple more cranks. Oh gosh. A couple more cranks. All right. Nice. Woo! 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 All right. It's a workout. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's cool. Hey, don't make a ruckus, fish. Babe Ruth. <laughs> Babe Ruth. 
Look how pretty he is. He's all lit up. Forever. Oh, shh. He got me on the inside pitch. There we go. Keep on reeling. Yeah. 50, 60. Gotta got a reel. You gotta reel. You gotta reel. Gotta reel, brother. how well you can or can't see me it's currently 11 and 7. um got a nice little flurry of fish there about four big ones four good grade of fish up to 78 uh, 65 pounds let's be realistic but trips far from over we were gonna wake up at about three o'clock and start jigging for live bait and then uh troll around for some blue marlin in the morning very lively rig lots of fish here Kind of explains why the tuna fishing hasn't been that great the last like week two weeks it appears fish are doing really good eating all night so we got our fair share we are going to bed and we are going to get after their tails in the morning Here we are. Good morning, guys. It is currently 3.35. Pulling back up to the rig to pick up some black fin so we can troll for blue marlin here in a couple of hours. Can't get wrong with the Jimmy D croissant, even if your croissant is somehow that shape. It's a very, very, very good coffee. A very, very fancy machine. So we started our day using butterfly jigs to try to catch live tuna to put in these tuna tubes to catch some blue marlin with. Now you'd think it'd be really difficult for these baits to stay alive, but as you can see right there, those tubes face down, you put the nose of the tuna at the base of it and water shoots through their gills and they actually stay alive super well. Some of them stay alive all day if you get a lucky one. After that, you either bridle them or use a dart, just like it's shown in this picture, and then you can bump troll live tuna for blue marlin. This is a staple of the Gulf. The Gulf of Mexico is the self-proclaimed live bait blue marlin capital of the world. It's a really unique fishery and it's really fun to do. And similar to the flying fish, catching this bait is almost as fun as catching the actual fish you're fishing for. Here, I'm coming up. Oh, you got him? <laughs> Ooh. Sorry, sir. Healthy one. Big bait, big fish, Mark. Yes, nice. Perfect little black fish.
All right, may not be able to see me, but we just filled the tubes up here on the bridge, just kind of hanging out, hanging out in the AC. Played some fish, took a shower. We have about 30 minutes till we start fishing. Have about till uh, noon and one o'clock till we got to start heading back, but feel good. We got some good baits. We got some bigger baits. Some of the baits we have are uh, some legal yellowfin tuna. We actually have three, two yellowfin tuna that are legal in the tubes right now. And then one black fin that's about the same size and a couple other really, really tiny black, black fins. So I guess what they say, big bait, big fish. Am I right? So we're gonna, we're gonna give them hell today. See what we can come up with. We got it. It's good. Yeah, I know, right? All right, off he goes. Upside down or right side up? Remember how I said the fish are probably eating all night and that's why the tuna fish have been bad during the day? Well that quickly became apparent. The day was not super productive. We actually ended up catching snapper on the way back in to get some more meat, but thank goodness we caught those fish the night before because nothing was happening during the day. So we did a tour of the Western Louisiana section of the Gulf of Mexico, stopped and caught some red snapper and promptly headed back to the dock. guys thank you so much for watching um i just had the most insane day of fishing i've ever had it's not an exaggeration here's a mid-range clip from today mid-range keep on trying to hook him oh don't go that direction oh my god oh my god oh my gosh guys we got two on. All right, guys, bring him up. Ooh, get down, 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 down. That video is coming soon. I like, I like, I need to settle down from what I saw today. Uh, so if you want to see that, please subscribe. I love you guys. And thank you. Goodbye. Good night. I'm so tired. I'm, I'm, I'm mentally shot right now. <sighs> okay, video is over. Subscribe. No, I'm serious. The video doesn't end until you subscribe. I'm still waiting. I'm serious. It won't end until...